Uh, hey there, friendlies. Uh, I'm out with Camille shooting another video. I figured since we're out, uh, I'm going to play around with that Groman number four that I built in that other video. Um, see if I can get on with that handle or if I really have to make some changes. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Okay. Yeah, okay, that sucked. Um, as I said in the video where I built this, uh, the misalignment and everything here, it's giving me hot spots, it's hard on the hands. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that. So let's go back to the workshop, shall we? You know, with all my sad little heart, I would love a knife maker's grinder. Maybe when I hit 10,000 subs, I'll celebrate by buying myself one and a really expensive bottle of scotch. <laughs> Okay, uh, I still have 1,000 and 2,000 grit sandpaper, but honestly, I can't be arsed to do it. And I'm afraid of making the handle too slick as well, or too, um, too smooth. So that's, that's what we look like right now. Uh, I have to sort of wipe it off. Um, I wasn't going for, look, could it be better? Yes. Absolutely, uh, but I wasn't going for glossy look. I was going for as smooth as possible in the hand um, And I think I got it pretty good. Oh, just uh, just a touch off there But it's not gonna be a problem. So I don't care So now I'm gonna put a little bit of BLO on and um, I'm gonna call it done A little bit of oil linseed oil as I told you guys in that previous video, I wasn't going to oil it or anything until I used it a bit, decided what needed to be done, and done it. So now it's all... There we go. There we go. All nice and oiled up. Right on the edges as well. There we are. What do you think? Let me know down below. Should I have gone the, the full <laughs> 2000 grit? I, I just think that wouldn't have been safe. I mean, I think a knife handle needs to be a little grippy, a little unsmooth. But anyway, so there we go. Just gonna take off the tape. The protective, what the heck did Groman call this? The protective layer? But the rest of the world just calls painter's tape. There we go. So. Looking good. Just give me a second. Take a look here. Little batoni action. Yeah, I can already tell you this is going to be a lot better in the hand. See, I just, I feel I have more control because it's more comfortable. Yeah, that, that feels a lot better. Okay.
Everything does taste better when it's been made over a fire. Everything. <sighs> Sorry about the, uh, the traffic noise there, guys. Okay, so my final thoughts on this, well, final thoughts on this knife. At this stage of owning it, having just made the handle useful. Because it wasn't before. It wasn't. The, the hot spots and everything were epic. Uh, now, I, I can tell you right away, it's much, much better. Um, I can tell you that if I had spent full price on a non-kit version of this knife, uh, it would have gone back. Uh, it didn't go back for two or three reasons. One is, um, it wasn't the full price knife. It was a kit knife. And so I was kind of expecting there to be <laughs> some assembly required, right? Because obviously none of the final finish work is done when it arrives. Second is it gave me an opportunity to get my hands a little dirty, which I'm not doing a lot of these days. And believe me, my hands are dirty, okay? <laughs> this was an afternoon's work here. This wasn't just like a 10 minute job, no matter what the edit may make it look like. Um, and third, look, I didn't buy it direct from, from Grumman. I bought it from Bushcraft Canada, and this isn't a ding on Bushcraft Canada at all. They have no control over the quality of, you know, the, the merchandise that they don't build. And at the end of the day, I, okay, it, it was non-usable, but as I said, it didn't come finished, right? So there was no one doing that final fit and finish job. And man, this knife is like, this is full on mine now. I did the fit and finish. I put the oil on the handle. I shaped the handle a little more to my hand as I, really? Are you guys hearing this? Sorry guys. Anyway. I think this is much nicer. Now this is like an heirloom knife. This this is not one that I'm gonna just, you know, <laughs> do a giveaway or something to get rid of, as I have done in the past. I'm happy about it. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me down below. So, as I always say, if you like what I'm doing, then please do the following three things. One, comment down below. Uh, what do you think of my job? I think, think it's good. I think I should have gone the, the rest of the way to the 2000 grit. Um, two, is this kind of content interesting to you? <laughs> should I go looking for crappy knives to buy and bring it to life? <laughs> uh, second thing, please share this video. That helps me more than you could possibly imagine. And three, leave me a smiley thumb. If you don't like what I'm doing, that's all right, guys. Leave me a frowny thumb. Thanks for watching.